For solving simultaneous linear algebraic equations, we are going to discuss two iterative methods here, namely gas jacobi and gas seidel And iterative methods will succeed only if the given system of equations is diagonally dominant. Therefore, before doing problems in these two methods, let's now discuss the meaning of diagonally dominant matrix. Consider the system of simultaneous linear equations containing three equations in three unknowns. Here, x1, x2 and x3 are the unknowns. This system of equations can be written in matrix form as Ax equal to b, where A denotes the coefficient matrix, x denotes the matrix consisting of the unknowns and b denotes the matrix containing the right hand side constants. We know that a11, a22 and a33 are the leading diagonal elements and this diagonal is called the leading diagonal. Now, this coefficient matrix A, which is a square matrix, is said to be diagonally dominant matrix if modulus of A11 is greater than or equal to modulus of A12 plus modulus of A13. Similarly, modulus of A22 greater than or equal to modulus of A21 plus modulus of A23 and modulus of A33 greater than or equal to modulus of A31 plus modulus of A32. That is the absolute value of each leading diagonal element is greater than or equal to the sum of the absolute values of the remaining elements in that row. Let's now discuss few examples. First problem. The first step is to write the coefficient matrix for this problem. Coefficient matrix will be 10 minus 5 minus 2. From the second equation we have 4 minus 10 and from the third equation we have 1, 6, 10. Let us check if this is a diagonally dominant matrix. So here A11 is 10. So modulus of 10 is greater than modulus of minus 5 plus modulus of minus 2 and a22 is minus 10 here so we have modulus of minus 10 is greater than modulus of 4 plus modulus of 3 and a33 is also 10, so we have modulus of 10 
is greater than modulus of 1 plus modulus of 6. Hence, it is a diagonally dominant matrix and therefore iterative methods can be applied. Let's now move on with the second problem. So we observe that in the first equation z has the highest coefficient, in the second equation x has the highest coefficient and in the third equation y has the highest coefficient. Therefore the given system of equations is not diagonally dominant. Hence we have to rearrange the given equations so that it becomes diagonally dominant. Then we have this equation 27x plus 6y minus z equal to 85 as the first equation 6x plus 15y plus 2z equal to 72 as the second equation and x plus y plus 54z equal to 110 as the third equation. Let's now write the coefficient matrix for this system of equations. So we have 27, 6, minus 1, 6, 15, 2, 1, 1, 54. Let's now check the condition. So here we have modulus of 27 greater than modulus of 6 plus modulus of minus 1 and modulus of 15 greater than modulus of 6 plus modulus of 2 and modulus of 54 is greater than modulus of 1 plus modulus of 1. Therefore, it is a diagonally dominant matrix and hence iterative methods can be applied. Note that this condition is sufficient but not necessary.